My first memories of Wu-Tang, you know, I had met RZA when he was a solo artist. And when I was hearing about Wu-Tang, I kept hearing about these dudes. They was coming to places, tearing shit up everywhere they went. And it was like, they was, they was making a mark. And I kept hearing their they name and I knew, I knew something was coming with it. You could just tell, you could just feel it. I remember being around Wu and I'm like, um, damn, they just like us. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, the Raekwon remind me of this guy. Ghost remind me of this guy in my, around my way. It was like cousins almost. It was like, you know, project kids. That's what it is. That was the language, project kids. We felt it, we smelt it off each other. And it just shows you out of, the, out of those housing projects come some brilliant people. The special thing about Wu-Tang being eight or nine guys was each one was a rapper who can represent his own individual self within that crew. They were the example for all of us because we, we, didn't, we didn't really see that before. Like more power to them and show love to them, respect them, you know, they're honorable. They gave us incredible skill. They gave us incredible poetry and it gave us music that no one's touching to this day. It's timeless.